Okay, here we go. Adjectives. What is an adjective? So last lesson we were looking at nouns and we were looking at proper nouns. So we know that a noun is a common everyday thing that we could see or touch. And we know that a proper noun is the name of a special person, place or thing. So adjectives is are used as a way to describe the noun or to make the noun a little bit more interesting. So for example, I could say I have a dog, but that doesn't actually give me very much information. So to make it a little bit more interesting, you might say I have a big brown dog who likes to bark. So we use words to describe the noun. Now there's lots of different types of adjectives that we can use. So we might use a taste describer, a color describer, a smell, a look, a size, a feel, how it sounds, where you might use a number, okay, or we might use behavior. Now we've done lots of describing in modeled reading. So we're looking at describing the noun. So the first sentence I'm going to look at is describing a house. So I get to decide how I'm going to describe my house. So the sentence says, here is a house. But to make this more interesting, I'm going to use an adjective. So I might say, here is a red house. I might use color. I might say, here is a small house. So I might use size. I might say, here is a greenhouse. Again, so using color. The next sentence is, this is my something puppy. Okay, so describe the puppy to me. This is my friendly puppy. This is my happy puppy. This is my uh, brown puppy. Okay, so we're adding extra words or extra describers to describe the noun. So the noun in the sentence is house and then puppy. I like to eat eggs, so eggs is the noun, so we're going to describe eggs. There are something flowers, so flowers is the noun. My something mum, so we're describing mum. The snake is something, so we're describing the snake. So what we're going to do is we're going to look around the room and we're just going to write a list of 10 nouns, okay? So the first noun I'm going to write is the word Teddy. Now, if you said to me, Mrs. Page, I have a Teddy, I would say to you, okay, what kind of teddy you need to be more precise? Give me some describers, give me some adjectives. And you might say, well, Mrs. Page, I have a brown teddy. So already you've given me another piece of information. I know now that your teddy is brown. You could give me more information though. You might say, well, Mrs. Page, I have a big, brown teddy. So now I know that your teddy is big and it's brown. Okay, you might say, well actually Mrs. Page, I have two big brown teddies. Okay, so the more information that you give me is going to help me understand what you're trying to describe. So what I'd like you to do is look around the room and find 10 nouns and put, uh, choose an adjective to describe the noun. So you might choose the word couch. Now don't just write the word couch because that's a little bit boring. Have a go at describing. So, well, Mrs. Page, I have a black couch. Okay, what else can I see in the room? Oh, I can see my small cat. Oh, I can also see my little brother. 
you might walk into your bedroom and all of a sudden you can see your Spider-Man pillow. Okay, so all of a sudden we're turning a common noun into something a little bit more interesting. Okay, we're giving a little bit more in information. So adjectives are used to describe the noun. So rather than leaving the guessing up to the person you're speaking to or the person who's reading, reading your writing, you're going to use describers to be more clear about what you're trying to describe. Now, if you're not confident with your writing, instead of having a go at writing, you might just draw some illustrations. So I can see a flower in the yard. So instead of writing the word flower, I might have a go at drawing the flower. And then I might say to mum, mum, that's a very pretty flower. And then mum or dad can have a go at recording your ideas. Okay, so now I'm looking around. Oh, I can see a tree. Tree, okay, that's a bit boring. What else can you tell me about your tree? Oh, okay, it's a large tree. So then mummy or daddy can have a go at recording your thinking. Let's do one more. What else can I see? I can see a ball. What kind of ball is it? Oh, it's a soccer ball. It's a spotty ball. It's a blue ball. Okay. See how many adjectives you can use to describe your ball. So I might write soccer ball. Okay. So have a look around the room. Choose 10 nouns, have a go at drawing a picture of your nouns and then label your nouns using one or more adjectives. Good luck. Okay, here we go. I thought I would have a go at doing this challenge as well. So here I am, I'm in the blue room as you can see, and I'm going to have a go at walking around the room and we're going to find 10 nouns and we're going to use some adjectives. So here we go, here's the first thing. I have a teddy, boring. I have a brown teddy, still boring. I have a small brown teddy, <laughs> small brown teddy. Okay, let's look for something else. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I found a book. I found a blue book. I found a hard blue book. I found a hard square blue book. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Hmm. Oh, here's something. I found a wooden bowl. What shape is this? Diamond? Diamond wooden bowl. Okay, let's find something else. Oh, now we're going into the green room. Oh, I found a plant. I found a green plant in a white pot and it has brown soil. Now, there's actually, I want to show you something. Have a look over here. Now, we've been growing our tomato plants. Now, they were quite small. I have a look. They're getting quite large. I have some large tomato plants, some large green tomato plants. Okay. All right, let's find a couple more things. Oh, I have my white hat over here. My big white hat. Okay. My big round white hat. Oh, here we have a black telephone on the wall, black telephone. Ooh, here's an exciting one. Remember this guy? My shiny owl, my blue shiny owl with a pink nose. Okay, and let's do one more. Hmm, ooh, here's one for Louis. Dinosaur. He's a small dinosaur with yellow eyes. He's quite hard and he says hi. Hi. Okay, now it's your turn. 
Have a look around your house, find some things, have a go at using adjectives to describe the noun and let me know how you go.